Welcome everyone to our yin yoga class. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next half hour. Our theme for our class is inner alignment. A lot of the times we face a lot of stress, anxiety. We have a busy mind. Having our theme for ourself as inner alignment, coming to a balance within our body, our mind, feeling harmony. So by doing these poses that we'll be moving into, it'll help us to create energy flowing through our body. So releasing any energy that may be stuck. Moving into our first pose as easy pose. So coming to a comfortable seated position here, your legs may be crossed in front of you. You may also sit on blocks, in hero, close your eyes, doing a head to toe check. Now at this time, you may notice that you do have a busy mind. Maybe you have, uh, you have areas of tightness in the body. Being still. Inhaling through the nose. Now exhale through the mouth and push all that air out. Doing that again. Exhale, push all that air out. Feel your body release. Again, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Two more times, inhale. Now exhale, let it all go. Inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. And exhale, nice gentle breath. Inhaling for four seconds, exhaling for six seconds. With yin yoga, our exhale breath is longer to help you to release a little bit deeper into the body. Inhaling, finding that support with our inhale breath through the spine, breathing into all those tight areas and then exhale, releasing. Continue on with this breath, opening up through the eyes, so smile. Over to the side of the body, turn your head towards the front of your mat, roll over to your back in C pine. Place one hand onto the chest, one onto your belly. Close your eyes. With the inhale breath, breathing into your belly, into your chest, into the sides of the body, into the back. And the exhale breath, letting it all go, letting your body sink into the ground. Inhale, opening up. Feeling the rise, then the fall of your belly, your chest. Hear your breath.
Come back to our theme, inner alignment. Feel your body opening up with your breath to help release any stuck energy. We turn inwards and really notice the opening into our sides of our belly, into our back, breathing into your armpits. Coming up through the eyes, keep the knees in towards the chest, one at a time, rocking side to side. And letting your energy start to flow through our body with the poses that we will hold, using your breath to help. Hold center, really helps to create clarity of mind. Helping your body to run efficiently. Take your right foot down, left foot down towards the ground, and then roll over to your side and make your way up. Come to tabletop. Also, it helps to create a vibrancy through our body when we start to open up and start to move. Release your shoulders down, away from the ears. Looking down towards the ground in tabletop, draw your belly button in. With a nice big inhale breath, draw your heart up into cow, tailbone coming up on the next one, and spine, and then draw up. Exhale breath, big cat stretch. Inhale to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come to neutral spine, natural S curve of your spine in tabletop. Sit back into the heels and then make your way back to tabletop. And then bend your tail. So through the tailbone, sweeping side to side. Opening up through our pelvis, through our back. So important to get things moving in those directions of our body. Next pose, cattail. Come over to the side of the body. I'll show you cattail without a bolster or a pillow. You're on the side of the body. Your head is towards the front. Take your right leg back. Left leg comes in front here. You may be on the side of your body. And let your head rest here. You may also turn your upper body so that you're looking the opposite way. Now that might be a little bit too much for the neck. So I like to have supports. So with yin yoga, it's always good to have supports. So if you have a pillow handy, Take your time. Nice firm pillow. So I have my bolster here. Tuck your bolster, your pillow in towards the hip. So into the left hip and then turn on top of your bolster. Take that right leg back. Left top of the left foot on top and hold. Just bringing it and then come onto your bolster. You may turn your head the opposite way. And remember, this is a big rotation. So you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can remain looking forwards.
45 more seconds. We hold. Come into your breath. Inhale to all those tight areas. Exhale, let yourself release. And slowly coming out like this. Close by coming out nice and slow into the other side. Just change my bolster. I'll just turn the other way. You don't have to. Tucking your hip in towards the bolster. Right leg's tucked in, left leg comes back. And come up and over top. And let the head come down towards the bolster, your pillow. Foot is touching your left knee. You may turn your upper body towards the other side and let the head rest. Forty-five more seconds. Gently coming out of cat tail. Slowly. Turn your body towards the front. Now, if you have pillows or blocks too, you may place them underneath your knees. So that would look like I'll use these little box here. You can use pillows. It's nice to have pillows underneath your knees and place them underneath your knees. Or butterfly. Placing the bottom of your feet together. Your knees are supported. Nice inhale breath. Exhale breath. Move forward. Let yourself hang.
Let things let it go. Another minute, we are in butterfly. Slowly make your way out of the forward fold. Up. Take your hands behind your bottom. Knees up towards the sky, so the feet down towards the ground, and take the feet wider than the hips and windshield wiper. Take side to side. Butter. Butterfly after butterfly, it is caterpillar. Set my blocks to the side here. Legs come straight forward. I'll bring my bolster back so you can use the pillow too. Stretching into our hamstrings, so behind our legs, sitting up nice and tall, and pull forward. Let the forehead rest onto your hands. If you find that your hamstrings are really tight, your elbow, elbows may come down and let the forehead, forehead rest, or you can, just, you can let your body hang forward. Just like butterfly when we were folding forward. Now usually our hamstrings are, are pretty tight, being careful, you could also have a nice blanket rolled up or a, a towel underneath of your knees for support. Just a little roll, not too big of a roll for support underneath the knees. Forty-five minutes, more seconds. Let's hold for thirty, and then take fifteen seconds to come up. Bring our forehead rests into our hands. Here helps us to feel more grounded. Lovely inner alignment coming back to let yourself go. And slowly coming out this forward fold out of caterpillar. Take your pillow or your prop just to the side. Bend through the knees, roll over to your back. 
in supine again. Knees are bent, see if you can touch your heels. Okay, having your, your blocks and kind of props handy, so in arm's length. Placing our block underneath of our pelvis for supported bridge. Not ever looking around when you're in supported bridge. I like to do the medium height when I'm placing the block underneath my, my pelvis. So into the small, not to the small of your back, to your tailbone. I also like to have a block between my knees for support, it takes pressure off the knees. So you may look at me first before you come into supported bridge. If you do know, do know how to do supported bridge, then you may, of course, come into supported bridge. So placing your block just at your sacrum, I have another block I'm holding between my knees, palms down towards the ground. Close your eyes. This is where you may start to hear a few noises into your intestines that are starting to work and digest food, that this is this nice big opening into our pelvis here. It's really great. It'll help with digestion, constipation, bloating. Forty-five more seconds. Slowly making your way out of supported bridge. So without looking around, moving your props. Let's see them to the side. Okay. Take the knees both into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. To happy baby, turn the knees out. So stir up, turn the knees out. Hold on to your knee pits. So underneath your knees and hold. A little rocking side to side. And then slowly come back to the center. Take your left foot down. Cross your right ankle over top of the left knee. Wrap your hands around the left leg, threading the needle, figure four. Inhale and exhale. Your body soften with the exhale breath.
45 more seconds. Now we slowly release. Take the left foot down to the ground. Hey, right foot down to the ground. Cross your right left ankle over top of the right knee. Wrap your hands around the right leg, threading the needle. Right foot's off the floor. You may flex both of your feet. You may have your right foot just hanging. Inhale to areas of tightness. We're threading the needle. We opened up to the right side of our hip. Now into the left side of the hip. We are opening up. Use your breath to help you soften. Let go. Forty five more seconds. Okay, now slowly. Making your way out, threading the needle. You may bring both knees into the chest, or up side to side. Come back to the center. Take the right foot down to the ground, left foot down to the ground. Into Shavasana, our last pose, pentacle. Knees may be bent when you're lying on your back. You may have your legs straight, taking the right foot out to the right corner of the mat, left foot out to the left corner of the mat. Your palms may be turned up towards the sky. Taking your hands a little bit, arms a little bit further away from your body. Nice big opening. And through the front of our body. The breath softens. Finding what will work for you. You may also place a blanket over top of your body so you're nice and warm. And then coming into stillness.
slowly coming back. Feel the softness all around you. Noticing your heart from the center of your body, feeling the warmth, letting this warmth spread out to your limbs, feeling that warmth circle you, feeling the calm all around you and letting go. Wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. If you're lying on your back, you may roll over to your right side to the fetal, bending through the knees, taking your right arm overhead let yourself take a moment in fetal. Then we make our way up to a comfortable seated position. Placing your hands to your heart center. Feeling the calm here all around you. A nice big bubble. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice with me. Namaste.